Now with your storm team weather, here's Chief Meteorologist Josh Johns. Welcome back, everyone. So were some people waking up with a... Uh something weird on their phone this morning? Yeah, you know, and part of it is due to what radar sees. And if you look at the graphic, you'll see what's going on. There was snow actually showing up on radar briefly this morning. That triggered some of your phones to go off, say maybe it was snowing. And the thing was that it was it just didn't reach the ground and here's why it's what we call an atmospheric profile that we look at as meteorologists and this is also what the uh, phones were seeing at the time and it's this is what the model was seeing too with a dry layer of air now we thought that air, air layer of air just above us was moist enough to allow maybe a snowflake to drop because it was perfectly humid where snowflakes f form off to the uh, above our atmosphere from maybe three to six kilometers up. But as that fell, it hit that dry layer of air. And we still thought we'd see some flurries, but in actuality, the air was much drier, pretty much close to what this looks like right here with a very big area of dry air. When you do that, that brings the snowflakes down and it just zaps it. And that's why we knew that it wasn't snowing. However, we prepared for it correctly for you. We let you know there was a potential for some of them. And Chris Ramirez was watching all morning to see if it would snow. And uh, it just didn't look like it did here in San Angeles, thanks to that drier air. Again, this is why it's important to trust meteorologists because that phone app just goes off what it's seeing on radar. We knew that it wasn't hitting the ground as soon as we saw that layer of dry air that you could really see here on water vapor with that more brown color. Now, currently on Live Radar Network, nothing out there except a few clouds have worked in, some higher clouds, and we're expecting a chillier night tonight thanks to those slightly clear skies that are out there currently. Then a big time warm up comes in, it's bringing temperatures back into the 80s, and that will eventually serve as fuel for our next round of thunderstorms. Today got up to 66, that after starting off the morning at 41. That's another reason we knew it wouldn't snow. It just wasn't in the upper 30s, or it wasn't even in the mid 30s, it was in the low 40s can't have snow on the ground at that temperature. 76 is where we should be and 48. And we've been as warm as 99 and 23. But as we go into April, that's one of our months where we continue to warm up. 76 where we're at for averages on April 1st. By the time of the end of the month, though, we'll be sitting with averages around 84. That means some of us may even be popping into the upper 90s by the end of this month. Nothing on the Live Radar Network again currently except those high clouds and that's allowing for a lot of radiational cooling. That's why we're seeing temperatures in the 40s right now. 48 here in San Angelo. Although some of those river valleys you've already gotten down to the mid 40s and it's possible some of you wake up in the upper 30s. A fairly chilly morning on the way when you wake up thanks to the dry air out there and the light winds. Dew points currently in the low 30s and upper 20s and winds are calming down across most of the Concha Valley. Again, very good recipe for radiational cooling. High pressure that did bring that cool air is now pulling off to the east. As it does so, that's going to send the winds back around to the southeast, bringing back the warm Gulf air. It'll be feeling more humid the next few days. It'll also be feeling warmer. And with a stationary front sitting to our north tomorrow, that'll help squeeze the atmosphere. And we'll see temperatures getting back into the 70s. Let's take through time here on Future Gas Show. It plays out because you'll wake up to temperatures. It'll be in the 30s. By 10 o'clock, though, you'll be in the 50s. And then in the afternoon, even climbing up into the 70s with clear, still clear skies. Clouds come back Wednesday morning, maybe even a little bit of drizzle in the morning, and then in the afternoon on Wednesday with that drier, warmer air coming in, we're going to be getting back into the 80s. Now, our next storm system, though, it's not even on the coast of the U.S. It's sitting over towards Alaska. That next storm maker arrives as we head into Friday, and that's going to bring our next rain chances and potentially some strong storms to the area. Not tonight, though. Down to 39, mainly clear by morning. Winds will be on the calm side for your Tuesday up to 77, mainly sunny, breezy, and warmer with south winds of 15 to 20, gusting to 25 miles per hour. And as you take a look at that extended forecast, we'll see those temperatures getting back up into the 80s by the time we head towards Wednesday, mid-80s by Friday, upper 80s Friday there. A 50% chance of rain Friday night into Saturday. That's our best shot of rain. Again, some of those storms could be on the strong side, maybe holding on through midday Saturday. I think the afternoon and evening is going to be fine. And then Sunday and Monday, a cold front comes in, dropping us from 87 Sunday to 77 on Monday. Some cooler air working in. And don't forget, Concho Valley homepage, severe weather special sponsored by Concho Collision and Auto Glass is going to air tomorrow at 5 o'clock right here on KLST and KSAN. Lots of great information to help keep you safe in severe weather. We hope you'll tune in, set your alarms. It's going to be a good show. I'm excited to see it. Good. Now we're going to learn a lot. Hopefully. <laughs> yes. we, we should. We will. Thanks, Josh. All right. Coming up on KSAN News, a look at